Hey everyone. I am going to be making a card using the new stamp set from the Alleyway Stamps called Chill Out. It's this cute little snowman set. And I've taken all the snowmans off the set and placed them onto my Fisker stamp press here. And I have a piece of um, just white cardstock. For this, I want to have a really defined black color. I'm going to be probably paper piecing some of them and um, Copic coloring all of them. So I'm going to use the VersaFine ink and use the technique of stamping it with VersaFine and then putting clear embossing powder on top of it. I have a tutorial on that if you haven't seen how to do that. You can look in the um, video feed and, and see that tutorial. So I'm just going to ink all of them up. And I'm going to do them kind of in sections. So, push down on that. And then quickly grab my embossing powder. And just grab your embossing powder. Oh, I hope I'm not too late. We'll see. Nope, I'm good. And I'm just going to continue to do that. I'm going to stamp it probably four times and then I will heat emboss the whole paper. Okay, so I've stamped them all up and I've put clear embossing powder on top of them. And so what I do is, especially using this technique, I always heat from behind. So I'm just gonna heat emboss all of these little snowmen really quick. What is it doing? Melting. Why? Because it says it's so hot, it keeps melting it more and more and more each time you keep doing it. Really? Really? Are you serious? Okay, so there, I, there you go. You can see kind of the um, clear emboss little snowflakes. I wanted them clear just for texture for um, the person who receives this card. It's I didn't want it to be overbearing at all. So next I'm going to color all these little snow people. So there are all my snow people colored using the same um, color palette for all of them just in a different way. Next I'm going to just fussy cut all these out really quickly. Um, it should only take me uh, five or maybe ten minutes, not even. Okay, for this card, I was totally inspired by Vicki's card, and I will place it up right now. So as you can see, I have all my little people cut out. First thing I'm going to do is take some Tombow Mono Multi-Glue and just start stacking these little guys down. I'm going to just be kind of making basically a little winter scene and they don't need to be in like any specific order just kind of like here and there and everywhere I'm not very good at random. Random things are very hard for me to do. So like placing them, oops, placing it down randomly is extremely difficult for me. I like patterns and there to be like a sequence to the pattern, but we're gonna go with flow. So try this out.
group of the snowmen. And what you do is you just take your card and anything that hangs over the edge, you just snip it off. You can take it also to your trimmer. And there is a group of snowmen. And I had a few um, left over, so I'll just keep those for a different project. Okay, so I've just taken a little strip of white cardstock here. I don't have a um, piece of cardstock that matches this perfectly, so I'm just going to be taking my BG11 and my BG15 and coloring this piece of paper. Okay, I'm going to take some VersaFine ink with the sentiment that says, let's chill. And then I'm going to make a banner and how I do it is I just take my scissors and place it in the middle and give a little snip and then go from the corner to the middle of that snip and then go from the corner to the middle of that. I just find that that works easiest for me. Okay, I'm going to take some, if I can grab them. I'm going to take some foam adhesive and place it on this banner here. And place that down there. And then I think I'm going to take the um, Clear Star glitter pen and just lightly go around the edges here. With little dash lines. And then I'm also going to take that same glitter pen. I love these. If you have not tried these out, I would highly suggest it. It's a Jelly Roll Clear Star. And I'm just going to lightly put a little bit of bling here and there. And there's our finished card. I really like how it turned out. Um, thanks Vicki for the inspiration. So I hope you guys will go create something that is perfectly imperfect. See you next time. Bye.